I will be a professional basketball player. Let's get to work. That was an absolutely amazing lift. Now I'm about to take a cold shower. A lot of people won't do this because they don't want it. A lot of people tell me, Mike, you can't get to be a professional basketball player. Like that goal is way too big. I don't listen to them because I believe deep down that I have what it takes and I'm not gonna stop until I get there. So let's do this. I'm about to take a cold shower then make a really good breakfast. Let's get it. The breakfast I made was some eggs with some mozzarella cheese and some turkey and then a cinnamon raisin bagel with peanut butter on it and a core power elite. These things are amazing. I was about to go get some shots up, but I don't know if y'all have seen my social media. Um, I think it was on Saturday. I was playing and I hurt my knee pretty bad. So this whole week I haven't really played or gotten shots up, but I feel a lot better today because I've been doing like rehab and just like treatment on my leg. I was gonna go play, or I, was, I wasn't gonna play, I was gonna get shots up right now, but there's like a huge hurricane. Oh, sorry about that. There's a huge hurricane going on and it's, I don't even know, it's, it's just like, it's a hurricane going on so they canceled school today and tomorrow. So we're just really just chilling and there's a basketball court in my apartment complex so I wanted to go get shots up, but I think it's closed too. And I don't want to go to the gym at the campus because the gym's also closed. So I'm about to go to the weight room that never closes. And I'm going to do a little bit of cardio, like just walk around, walk forward, walk backward on the treadmill. So my knee can feel a lot better. And hopefully tomorrow I can get shots up and I'll be good. I think it was low-key a sign that I shouldn't have played basketball today because I walked and like my leg literally feels amazing. I, so I walked forward, I think like a mile and a half, I think. And then I walked backwards like half a mile and literally my leg feels amazing. Now I'm just gonna do some more rehab in a little bit and ice it, do like a bath with Epsom salt and just relax, but I'm about to eat because I'm very hungry. This is what I made. I made some ground beef with rice a little salad, and then half of an avocado. Perfect. My leg feels a lot, a lot better, but either way, I'm gonna do a little bit of rehab just to like strengthen my legs so I can keep progressing, keep getting better so I can get back to playing. Then this is what I'm eating for dinner. It's this Greek place called Tzatziki's. Now I'm icing my leg so I can feel better because I'm honestly so annoyed that my knee is still hurt. But gotta listen to my body and I gotta rest so I can be good and get back on the court. I can't play basketball right now. So I'm studying what I think is the best game of all time which is Warriors versus Thunder back in 2016, I think. I remember being a little kid and watching this live with my dad and it was literally like the best game ever. And I just love watching this game because I love the Warriors and I love Stephen Curry and then Klay Thompson. I try to play like Klay Thompson, so I love this game. And Curry obviously is just Curry. I'm also massaging my leg just to get the knot and for it to feel a lot better. I just took that bath with Epsom salt and honestly that helped me a lot like my leg feels really good It's just like sore because today I did a lot of rehab and I moved it a lot But it's because I wanted to get stronger so I can get back to plan But after I took the Epsom salt bath, I took a shower with hot water. I always take 
a cold shower in the mornings and then at night I take a hot shower just because it like relaxes me. About to put some biofreeze on my leg and then time to sleep. Sleep is very important and your body needs sleep to recover. I hope you're enjoying this video and I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. Let's get to work. Now I'm cooking some breakfast for the gains, and then I'm gonna try to go get some shots up. Hopefully my leg feels good. I made my go-to breakfast, and then I'm gonna finish the rest of this milk. My friend just let me know that the court is open right now, so I'm going down, and hopefully I can get some shots up and my knee won't hurt too bad. Please, please, please. light workout just to like ease back into it I got this it's like uh, <laughs> they're compression pants but I have it kind of as like a knee sleeve just so it helps me a little bit but I'm gonna ease back into it just so I don't like rush it back and so I don't make whatever's wrong with my knee worse but it feels a lot better See life clearly, clearly. February is the time that you put the evil lie in the of life for the fantasy again. Very, very scary. March got you already second guessing titles. April, spring is here just like the spring is starting to spiral. May brings so many warmer days. Poolside getting very tan. June had you moving ice cold, going back and forth with a merry man. July, that's when I found out July. August, it was baby this, baby that. Like, yeah, it's too much time. September, we're falling off, but I'm still in May trying to win. Uh, October is all about me, because your turn should have been over. November, got your move board, and the next year, you single. December, the gift giving month, and now you want to be king of mine.
Night, night. got out of the shower and let's see what I'm about to chef up because I got a bunch of food here and I'm starving. I was thinking about buying food out but like the check hasn't hit yet because I'm not a pro player yet. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But I have a bunch of food here so like why eat out? Can't waste food. This is what I chefed up. I know it just looks like lettuce but there's rice, beef, cheese and it's the Michael Chipotle bowl from home with avocado and some tortillas for extra carbs. Perfect. Now I'm drinking my core power and I got ready because I'm about to go surprise my parents at home because I know they really miss me and I know they're really gonna like it. So I'll see y'all when I get home. I made it to my house and I'm back in my old room at my house. If you're an OG and you remember this room, comment basketball just so I know that you're an OG and you're a day one supporter. I love y'all. Thank you guys for staying to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, like, comment, and just support because I'm going hard on this series and I'm here to document my whole entire journey of becoming a professional basketball player because I will be a professional basketball player. I'm gonna be uploading one of these videos every single week and I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So I'll see y'all next week. Thank you for everything. I love y'all.